Hello everyone and welcome to another GTA Online discussion video. So heists are finally here. Can you believe it? After all this time we finally got heists. I'm quite excited about them. I've already done the uh, the first heist at this moment whilst I'm recording this and I'll probably show some footage of a, a later heist as well. Um, and yeah, it's, it's really exciting. The one thing that I obviously do whenever we get a DLC is test all of the new vehicles. Now I can't do that straight away so there is going to be a little bit of a, a wait for that um, because you can't actually buy any of the new vehicles until you've done some of the heists. So I need to do the heists before I can access the vehicles to test them uh, and upgrade them and you know take them around cutting coronet GP, do all that stuff. So the video for that may be a few days you know it's not going to be straight away but you can be safe in the knowledge that I am working on it. So there's no need to be contacting me, uh, asking me if I'm going to do it. Yes, I am going to be testing the new vehicles when I unlock them after doing all of the heists. Now that may put back the uh, the multi-class endurance championship video for this Friday that's normally out every Friday. Uh, it may put that back a little bit. You know, they, they do take a long time to do those videos. So having the heists distraction and having to test all the vehicles is just going to put that back a little bit. But we do have a week's break for the multi-class endurance championship. There isn't a race on this weekend. So th that isn't too much of an issue. It's kind of all come at the perfect time, really. So, yeah, the, the heist update, it looks really good. You know, there's a lot of different uh, things to it. You know, there's some different uh, garage intros and things like that. You know, just little things that seem to make this update more of a big update, really. Uh, and there's actually one thing that's been introduced that is something that I... Uh, suggested way back I think it was in the second or third episode of the old gen GTA series that I did um, where, which was have the the job next job voting screen at the end of a, a job so you see you do a race it should show all races rather than you know the random jobs that you get and they've actually implemented that now so that's something good to see you know one of my suggestions from way, way back then and I've mentioned it before in previous videos as well since then um, but this was this was a couple of days after the game came out. I mentioned, you know, just to have have the next job voting screen only show races if you've done a race, and they've actually implemented that. So, uh, yeah, that's that's quite good to see that they've uh, made a change like that. Maybe in another year's time we'll get a racing DLC. Um, but yeah, you know, heists it, it's it's quite exciting. You know, it does feel like a proper update. There's a lot of different cars to test as well. There's some cars that we've also got access to that we didn't before. Uh, you know, for example, the Rumpo you can now buy, and the uh, the Gang Burrito is one of them that was in the game, but now you can actually access it and store it. So it's going to be interesting. You know that the video for the fastest fully upgraded heists vehicles is going to be an interesting one. I will be bringing that out. Obviously, I'll be ranking them in terms of lap time and also giving you the the positions that they would be in in terms of the actual classes that they are so sports sports classics fans whatever it is i'll make sure that you know where they sit in their own classes as well um obviously i'm not going to redo all of the class videos again i'm just going to put up one video with all of the heist vehicles and update the spreadsheet as we go along as well that you know everybody should know by now there is a big spreadsheet which contains all of the lap times and information for all of the cars so a lot of work to do, you know, there's still a lot of work to go. Um, hopefully I'm going to try and get the video out as soon as possible to get you guys all the information about the uh, about the vehicles and how they perform compared to the competitors in their class. But in the meantime, you know, just have fun with heists, play heists, uh, enjoy all that. And I, you, you can be safe in the knowledge that I will be working as hard as possible to get the uh, get the fully upgraded cars video out as soon as I possibly can. Now, one last thing that I need to talk about is a follow-up from the uh, previous episode, uh, which is, I, I know I knew I said that I wasn't going to talk about it anymore, but in the in the previous episode, I was talking about the Rockstar live stream that we did, and I said, you know, how I, I was disappointed in it in terms of it being, you know, as an event, it wasn't uh, wasn't all that great, and I'd actually reached out to Rockstar with an email to see if they wanted to listen to our. Uh, suggestions and you know the problems that we have with racing on the game and I'd said that at the end that I didn't really expect to get anything back you know because we were meant to do this at the end of the live stream but they just ended the Skype call but on Monday just after I'd actually uploaded the video yesterday um, they, they did actually reply saying send over all your suggestions and issues so I did that you know I sent them the all of the all of our issues that we have you know with care boosts and uh, you know 
lampposts to option to remove them you know everything that we've always all, ever mentioned that we have issues with and i also highlighted them uh the the racing dlc which they actually already knew about uh so yeah you know they, they we've done everything that we can at this point you know they, they've acknowledged all of the things that we've mentioned they've said they'll pass them on to the dev team whether it actually gets through or not we don't know whether it's you know even any anything better than just sending an email to the gta online at rockstar games account you know whether it even matters in that regard who knows it might just be you know another another suggestion that goes along with all of the rest but hopefully this is a little bit more you know you having a contact like this is a little bit better for uh getting these sort of things through only time will tell the only time will tell if we get the things the issues fixed if we get you know more racing cars things like that then we know that it's been a success but uh, it's just impossible to know so at this point really we've done all that we can we've sent the emails we've made the support posts we've hounded them on twitter for all of these things you know we've we've now gone as high as we possibly can we've actually sent the suggestions to the rockstar community team and they are going to pass them on directly hopefully to the uh, the dev team so that's all we can do you know that's all we can do we're just going to have to enjoy the game enjoy heists enjoy racing as it is right now and hopefully we'll uh, we'll see some improvements in the future so yeah lots of exciting things at the moment with heists coming out enjoy those you can you can be safe in the knowledge that i'm working on the the car testing as soon as i've unlocked all the cars i'll fully upgrade them buy them all take them around and give you guys all the information that you need about what you can use what you should be using in racing uh, and whether you can even use them in the first place so yeah thanks a lot for watching everyone i really do appreciate your support as always uh, there will be obviously normal videos that i've already got scheduled over the next few days uh, that aren't to do with heists obviously but uh, yeah you know I, I will be working on that video to try and get out to you guys as quickly as possible so thanks a lot for watching everyone i really do appreciate your support as always and i'll see you next time